Well, how do you dandy there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I've got myself a coffee. I guess I have. Yes, yummy. Oh, that's a bit warm. Okay, so what am I actually doing today inside of No Man's Sky? I'm on a treasure hunt, yet again, like yesterday's adventure. If you didn't see yesterday's adventure, it didn't result in much treasure. I did get a treasure, but it didn't do anything to my wonders catalogue. You can see that video over there. It was great fun. We did some pulse fishing. Anyway, people, back over in, into game. Let's jump on in. Boom! Trick of power. And I'm over there, near to the screen. Not quite on the screen, but near to the screen. And we're going to be unearthing ancient bones on this frost world that we've got out here, peeps. Now, this is inside of the NMSA hub. And I'm actually at a player's base at the moment. Not one of my own. But you can see there, ancient bones. Lovely, jubbly. Right, so this is somebody else's base within the side of the NMSA. And I think half of it is actually underground now. So there you go, disturbed for good. Yes, you made this lovely gold mine with lots of exocraft bays. But yeah, look, your, your base, it seems to have gone into the ground or something. Because I'm just seeing remnants of it. It doesn't seem to be a complete base anyway. But there we go, people. Yeah, there's a little base shout out, a little nod. Anyway, we're going to be digging up ancient bones. There's a few bases around here, actually, now. They've all started to render in. There's quite a few. Yeah, if you do want to come here and put down a base of your own and dig up some ancient bones, here you go. I give you the coordinates on the screen. Let's put them against this base so you can see them a bit better. There you go. Lovely jubbly. There we are. Uh, let's, let's make this a bit bigger on the screen for me as well, I think. Boom. We can go like that. There we go, now I'm on the screen. That's a bit better, isn't it, people in the view of us? Anyhow, we're going to be digging up ancient bones. Let's see if we can spot any in near vicinity. Well, I can't see any bones in near vicinity. Oh, yes, there are. There's some there. It's obscured. But it's only, oh, 242 years away. Let's just hope it's not inside the confines of the base. Oh, there's loads of runaway mould here. That could be why you've built your base here, because there's runaway mould. Nice, that runaway mould can be turned into... Frickin's nanites, mate. So yeah, you can come to here and grab those. Let's hope that this is outside the base confines, though, shall we, people? Now, what I'm hoping to find... Oh, my days. Look how many freaking bones are here. Hopefully, you guys will see this many as well. Oh, I haven't got the freaking... In... <laughs> I'm going to throw a manipulator inside of that multi-tool. There we go. That might help. There we are. And let's start digging. Let's see if I can get the jawbone and also the skull in this first freaking ditch, people. Okay. But you can sort of tell which one is the skull a mile off. There's the skull there. You see it? Freaking awesome. We've got the skull already, people. Let's see if this does anything to my Wonders catalogue. I should show you my Wonders catalogue before and after, before I pick up all these bones. Okay, I think we've pretty much done this, just in this one freaking hole. Hopefully, if you come here, you're going to have the same amount of joy and luck. And hopefully, get yourself that um, runaway mould at the same time. Anyway, I don't want to dig too deep. So here we go. Let me show you my catalogue right now. Here's my treasures and my wonders. I've only got one intriguing bone right now. Let's see if we can top that and let's see if we can populate a few more of these dark shadows. Right, so let's jump into the old hole. I'm going to start with the freaking skull that I can see right over here. Look at it. It looks freaking awesome. We're having that. Boom. Heck yes. Lovely jubbly. Has that done anything to my wonders catalogue? Yes, it has. But it's only replaced that bone that I had there previously, people. Isn't that weird? Because it looks like there are other areas for more bones to go into there. But, okay, all right, fine. We dig all these up and we'll see if we get anything else. But it looks like that is going to be the new bone record that I've got, peeps. All right, fine. Well, if this is over as a, a video, which I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be now, you know, fudge it. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's grab all of those. So we've got all of these bones from inside of this ditch. Um, let's see what that's done to my Wonders catalogue then, people. It's just kept that one there. This is what I'm finding is it just keeps circling these free. And I can't, for the life of me, populate these ones. All right, fine. Well, I've got something else on my person right now, people. Inside of my exosuit, I've got a map that's been flashing at me quite aggressively for the last couple of days. This one here. And it says to plot a route to an ancient chart... And a treasure. Let's go and get that then. Boom. <laughs> okay. Well, we do that. I'll grab another freaking swig of this. Why not? Ooh, that's quite nice. Now, these charts you can get from archives. You get them from a machinaton archive, and it costs 15 nanites to print one. Right, okay. Well, my ship is over back at that base. I'm just going to call my ship to me. Uh, it's not far, but, you know, why the fudge not? 
We fly on over to this relic site. Where the fuck is the... Where is the marker gone for it? Um, marker, marker, where did you blink and go? That's a bit freaking weird. All right, let's just hope I can see it from the sky. There it is. I can see it now. That's a bit... That was weird. Okay. Can I tag that? Yeah, we got it. All right, let's fly on up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, and up where there's less friction, and then we can fly a little bit faster. And then I can just lock onto it and fly on down to it. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm on my way. Thank you. Lovely jubbly. Fly on down to this one. And hopefully we're going to dig up something here and maybe populate a treasure. But I'm fairly sure it's just going to replace the one of those three that I've already got. There we go. Let's, uh, let's land. And let's see what this does. Now, I have sent out all my frigates on missions. And in the next episode of this Cap 2 with Captain Steve, I'm going to debrief them all and see if that replaces any treasures. But I'm not really having much joy with populating my treasures. It has to be said, people. All right, okay. Uh, train manipulator. Let's find these keys first. So there's one there. 41 use this way. Let's go and dig this up then. Lovely jobs. Boom. And dig them and dig, dig. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So yeah, if you have managed to populate your treasures and you've got any tips for me, please let me know and I'll try and do another one of these episodes and I'll try populating out that, you know? Why the heck not? Okay, trial by error. I'm learning as I go, people. Because sadly, this new catalogue feature, this Wonders catalogue, doesn't really come with much of a guide on what you're supposed to be looking for or how you get it to populate properly. Or what it actually looks for, because it's a bit weird. It says that there's like 76 entries. Yet, um, there's not 76 slots on the dang thing either, so I don't know whether they've missed a page or something, or whether mine's just broken, like proper broken. Again, there's another one over there, 64 years, let's go grab that one. Meow, pow. Dig him in, dig, dig. Nice little lunchbox down here. Grab that. And now I've got the three keys. There are more keys here, but you only need three. Now I need to go to this large artifact crate. Let's go dig this one up. And let's go stick those three keys in, and let's see what treasure I behold to myself. Chicka pow, chicka boom, chicka pow pow. Dundily done. And what have we got? We've got ourselves a rare item found: historical documents. Okay, has that done anything for my wonders? Cat? It has. We've got a new one, people. So there we go. Maybe I need to go to more of these. Maybe I need to visit some more archives. So you know what? Next episode, I'm going to debrief my frigates. And then I'm going to show you guys how to find yourself a colossal archive, how to print one of these charts, and then we'll go dig it up and hopefully we get something else from here. Maybe that's what I need to be doing more often, is going to the archives. Maybe that's the way forwards. Righto, people. Okay, well, there we are. Let's uh, head on out of this freaking hole. Where's my ship? I need to save my freaking iteration. So we've got that treasure saved decoded. Oh, look, it's got freaking beetles on this planet as well. Isn't that wondrous? Isn't that lovely? Heck yes. If you haven't got yourself a rideable beetle pet, they are freaking awesome fun. Okay, let's jump in my ship, out of my ship, and make a save. Dundalee and done. There you go, people. So this planet has got the ancient bones on it. And if you do want to come to this exact location without using a relic chart and hopefully get the same relic as I, there's the coordinates in the top right-hand corner. So that's a plus 41. Actually, I'm, I'm on top of them, aren't I? Let me get myself off of them. Okay, there we go. So it's a plus 41.13 and then minus 41.41. That's that's a lot of 41s in there, isn't it? You might as well say 41, 41, 41, 41, and, and you're pretty much there. That's the easiest way to freaking remember it. And hopefully you're going to be able to see this from the freaking sky because it's a relic site near to a giant freaking mountain by a peak. Yeah, it, it's it's... I'm hoping you'll be able to spot this anyway, people. There you go. Well, there you are, peeps. I hope this was helpful to you. And, well, I don't know how many people are out there actually trying to complete their Wonders catalogue. I could be alone in this venture. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to be finishing off my coffee and hopefully see you for the next episode of this. It's kind of like an impromptu wonder quest. I'm still doing the Wonders in the background. I just want to see if I manage to fill out every single one of those black spaces inside of my Wonders catalogue, how many the game thinks I've got left to find. <laughs> That's what I'm... Yeah, I just want to find out how buggy it is, mate. Lovely jubbly. I'll get halfway through doing it and Hello Games will fix it. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Anyway, until next time, people. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. 